As we've altered our landscapes, we've also shifted our language. What was once called swamp is now known as wetlands. What was once seen as a barrier to development is now known to be an important ecological resource. Nowhere is this more clear than around the border of the United States and Mexico at the Tijuana River estuary. The Yuman Indians once lived here and had a word, Tijuan, meaning close to the sea. But today, the environmental problems of this region would make you hesitate about being close to the sea. The coastal waters suffer from pollution. The source is the untreated sewage from the nearby city of Tijuana, which flows into the Tijuana River and makes its way to the sea. Caught between the city and the sea is the Tijuana River estuary. It was once a natural filter. When the population of Tijuana was small, the estuary was able to filter what little pollution the city produced. Back then, a vibrant surf scene existed at Imperial Beach, giving rise to surfing legends like Dempsey Holder and the famed Tijuana Sloughs. But Tijuana grew and things changed. Plans were announced in the 60s to build a concrete channel through the estuary. Local activists protested. By the 80s, some environmental protection began with the creation of the Tijuana Wildlife Refuge and the Tijuana River National Estuarine Research Reserve. But the source of the problems, rapid population growth in Tijuana, did not abate. Today, Tijuana is second only to New York City in tourism in the Western Hemisphere. Over 50 million people per year pass through the main border crossing at San Isidro. Tijuana now leads Mexico in both employment and population growth, tripling in size since 1980, leaving the local government in disarray for even basic human services. Almost half of the city's residents live in shanty towns in the hillsides along the Tijuana River. No sewage lines, no running water. Many can't even afford to have their outhouses pumped. Untreated waste flows into the river, into the estuary, and out to the sea. How bad is it? A recent study showed 80% of water samples from around the Imperial Beach Pier tested positive for hepatitis A. A local survey found that two-thirds of regular Imperial Beach visitors became ill directly after swimming or surfing. Veteran surfer Greg Abbott knows what it's like. I had a girlfriend who was very irritated with my runny nose, and my nose was constantly running. So I went to the doctor and they cultured what they had in my sinuses, and it was all fecal bacteria, E. coli, and Klebsiella, and Drobacter. And at that point I realized, okay, I'm picking this up from the ocean. All of these problems create another case of shifting baselines among the general public. That's the situation when people grow so accustomed to degraded conditions, they no longer think of it as unusual. We can see this with beach closures. Workers used to announce them with temporary paper and wood signs. Now they've installed permanent concrete and steel signs. When beach closures become this routine, the baseline has definitely shifted. And does anyone even notice what's missing from the wildlife? California has lost over 90% of its wetlands, and along with it, much of the birds, fish, and other creatures. Such is the case for the Tijuana River estuary. Yet the value of the region is appreciated by Oscar Romo, education director of the Tijuana National Estuarine Reserve. An estuary is nature's treatment plant. The Tijuana estuary filters out large amounts of pollutants from the Tijuana River. If not for the estuary, our beaches would be closed year-round. For now, the problems remain unsolved. The Tijuana River is caught in the middle of a blame game between the U.S. and Mexico. Yet despite the lack of solutions, there are local efforts underway. Every weekend, volunteers work in Tijuana, building eco-friendly homes and infrastructure. Projects such as pervious pavers help stop runoff and create a natural filter between the pollution and the Tijuana River. They can use your help, and so can the major environmental groups involved in this issue. The problems are reversible, and it's still possible to return the region to a condition worthy of the word Tijuan. Please join our effort and help restore the Tijuana River to the health and quality that the Yuman once knew. <laughs>